Well, Todd and Trisha, this area of the valley is really ideal for flying. There's plenty of open spaces and the weather actually works well for flying, but we've learned it's causing some concerns for homeowners here. He's considered flying royalty. The balloon that you filmed the other day was 210,000 cubic feet. With 36 years behind the controls of hot air balloons, there isn't much Doug Campbell, co-owner of Las Vegas Balloon Rides, hasn't seen. Yeah, that was, that was our balloon. He did see the pictures and the story first reported by Contact 13 of a hot air balloon flying feet above homes in Rhodes Ranch. Over here, yeah. I waved, and that's when one of them yelled down is that, you know, coffee ready, and I suggested they land on the golf course, and I'd be happy to serve them coffee. At least one homeowner questioned why the pilot came so low. Doug says his pilot, like all hot air balloon pilots, cannot steer or brake. They must depend on the wind currents at different altitudes to get around. What the public really needs to understand is we're not down there in a specific effort to, to piss somebody off or to make anybody else happy. Uh, we're just trying to maneuver a balloon into an area that gives us a safer environment to land. Doug says the winds near the surface on the day in question helped guide the balloon to a landing zone nearby. And because they were preparing to land, the pilot did not have to abide by the federal 1,000 foot separation rule above crowded areas like neighborhoods. Contact 13 has also learned the FAA has received three complaints about low flying balloons two in Rhodes Ranch and one from the Regency at Summerlin since June 4th. An FAA spokesperson could not comment on any ongoing investigation related to balloon pilots or their conduct. And get this, ballooning days in the valley might be over or soon to be over. Doug says as more areas of the valley are built up, there's fewer places to land safely. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Oh, that's interesting. Joe, thank you. And we first looked into this story after a viewer reached out to us. Remember, if you have a problem you would like us to check out, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number. All right. Well,